Good morning guys, Buzz here, welcome to another video. You can't see where I am right now. There we go. You just gotta trust that I'm here. Today is Tuesday and I have just over the weekend completed my CrossFit level one. I'll get the results this week. It takes about seven days to come through. But I tell you now that that exam is actually maybe a little bit harder than I went in there expecting. I kind of expected it to be a full tick box ex exercise. But the course itself is one of the best courses I've done. I went in there just kind of like, oh, this is going to be pretty mediocre. It's going to be pretty cool, but it's going to go over some pretty standard stuff. But it's not like that at all. It was honestly brilliant. Couldn't recommend it enough. I think I'm just going to keep pushing to do more and more courses. I definitely want to do my level 2 now. Uh, not only because it means I don't have to reset the level 1 at any point. It's also just gives you that a little bit more in-depth knowledge. Right now, I'm getting rid of these cold sores. I don't understand why I keep getting them. It's not from kissing mingers, I tell you that now. Oh, that light's much better. Heading to work now. It's Tuesday morning, like I mentioned. Afterwards, we have a really tasty wad. Like, like I said, Tuesdays we always do a past open wad. Not always, in the lead up to the CrossFit Open we're going to be doing this. And tonight is 14.2. It's a little bit different to the traditional 14.2 whereby you have three minutes to complete the two rounds of overhead squats and chest to bar pull ups. We're doing it in kind of an AMRAP 12 minute match. So uh, the AMRAP 12 is going to be, it's going to be two rounds of 10. Uh, overhead squats two, um, and chest bar pull ups then it's going to be 2 rounds of 12 and 2 rounds of 14 it's still the same setup but you don't have to wait for the 3 minutes to go by before starting your next 3 minutes that's how today is going to go but right now let's head to work so there we go guys that is the day of work finished heading, heading to the gym it's a miserable day look at it out there horrendous but it includes overhead squats which is a movement that I am not overly competent with I'm pretty good um, much better than I was when I first started um, and of course chest to bar pull-ups which I'll have to keep um, I'm not competent at chest to bars with the butterfly technique so just be a regular kip no stricties though that's far too much effort and of course it wouldn't be CrossFit if you didn't flop around like a salmon on the bar not because it's any better or worse just because it's more efficient to do so Right now we're stuck in some seriously bad traffic, but we'll get there shortly, and when we do, I will check in with you guys. So what we have right there is the f fuel price these days. That's per litre, not per gallon for the American listeners. Oh, there's some uh, free advertising. That is the price per litre. One pounds nineteen. That's like one one dollars fifty per litre. <laughs> Variation of twelve point four. I'm I'm wrap. We've got some Chester bars beforehand. I'm gonna try and butterfly them.
leaving the gym now. Managed to go finish the round of 10 and 12. And almost finished around 14. I think I would have finished around 14 had I not messed up my last overhead squat. You saw on the video there, I'll show it again here. Um, did 13 reps, went for rep 14. And then Jan next to me had finished her round of 14 overhead squats and I was like, Shh, I need to catch this. And then I thought, started thinking about the next movement, the Chester bar, before I actually finished the, the overhead squat. And I forgot, I didn't come with full extension, so I no rep, excuse me, so I no rep myself. And then I managed to get the Chester bars, but I didn't have enough time left to finish all 14. Very frustrating, but you live and learn. Concentrate on what you're doing, not what other people are doing. Hi guys, Baz here. So I finished the workout. I want to go through the kind of information part of it now. Um, it's the end of the month, and I think I'm going to make this kind of inclusive for a monthly basis. So this example right here is going to be January. So as you guys know, I started off with a, a new nutritionist, and that was uh, Cap Nutrition. As they kind of the starting base with this, you need to see what kind of tolerance your body has to carbohydrates. So your, your primary source of fuel is carbohydrate. So when you're doing CrossFit and when you want to kind of do CrossFit towards performance, you really want to have a good amount of carbs to perform at this intensity you desire. So for the first month, I was put on a, a very high carb scheme. I put whatever my body weight was in kilograms, which at the, at the time was 87.1. Uh, my carbs were based on this and they were seven times my body weight. 704 carbs to start off. So for those of you who read in the quick maths will know that that is 2,816 calories from carbohydrates alone. I also had 160 grams of protein and 150 grams of fat. The calories for that, the calories for that are as follows. 640 for the protein, 1,350 for the fats. And that put me in a total of 4,806 calories, so roughly 4,800 calories. And I kept this up from the 3rd of January, or the 2nd of January, all the way through until Sunday night, which was 29th of January. So in effect, I kept that up for four weeks. So you wanted how did this change my body composition? 4,800 calories for four weeks. As you can imagine, I did CrossFit five, six times a week. Uh, I was pretty active. And it, my body weight, my body weight rose from 87.1 to 90.5 kilograms. I put the weight in pounds right here. Along with some pictures, I fed this back to the nutritionist and now my calories have changed for the next month, which is great. I mean, it's, that changing your, your macros every month, I think is important in line with your goals. Uh, if you're gonna keep progressing, you need to keep adapting and changing. So now we're in February with, in theory, a starting weight of 90.5. Over the CrossFit level one weekend, I didn't manage to stick to that 4,800. It was still above 90 my starting weight. So my new macros are slightly different, but I still have that performance mindset in mind. Um, obviously, I'm, I don't really mind too much on fluctuation of body weight. I'm pretty happy with myself. Um, but obviously, I was like, I was pretty, pretty disappointed that I put on that amount of weight, which means I have to drop the calories and carbs for the next month. So my carbs for this month are literally a fraction of what I was before, 430 carbs, which puts me at what's that, 1720 calories from carbs. So that's nearly 1,100 ca calories less from carbs. My proteins and fats are still the same. So my new calories are now 3,710. That's 1,100 less than the previous month. But I think the beauty here is, at the start of January, had I been eating 3,700 calories like I am now, I would have been so full. But right now I'm ready for my food and I'm ready for my calories So and I've started to drop weight. So I think that four week of that four weeks of this right here, even though I did put on weight, really pushes your metabolism to kind of look. I'm getting fueled here. Let me use it. And now I'm on this. I fully expect to get that down again to maybe the starting weight 87, and perhaps even go a little bit less than that in time for the open. So I'm maintaining this throughout February, and we'll see what happens to this weight. Obviously at the end of February we're going to check in on that and we're going to find out what difference it's going to make. 3,700 calories is still beautiful, it's still a lot to play with, a lot of people um, 
really struggle to lose weight even on 1500 calories but I think the reason for that is they've just really forced their body to live on such a small amount of calories and really blown up the metabolism give yourselves a chance to enjoy it enjoy the calories enjoy the food and your body will eat. that's all for the nutrition and keep it up at 3700 right now off, off this cat performance I'm requesting a performance based diet once I finish the open, I am actually going to request a slight caloric deficit based diet. A little bit of weight loss ready for the summer shreds. You guys know who you are, there's a lot of you out there. But this is the overview and I'm going to leave this here for the month. And then in March, I'm going to put the March one up there. I hope you enjoyed this, a little bit more in depth and an insight as to what I do with my macros. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably a little bit more informative than normal, but I think I'm going to start including that. A lot of you guys have asked me about what my nutrition is like. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I do appreciate you all watching it. Don't forget to comment any thoughts, like the video, and please subscribe. See you guys soon.